Hello, hello. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm um doing two things at once. I could do that. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that away and I'm gonna focus on you. How are you? Alright, we currently have the moon now in Cancer. Alright, it went in there at 6 52 a.m. So um we're now into that emotional state and we're getting ready for the new moon tomorrow at 8 55 a.m so 24 hours and we've got some things to think about and and adjust in our perspective good morning kathy how are you so nice to see you i sound very snotty but i'm actually feeling a whole lot better yesterday was just ugh, ugh. anyway and and you know what this is this is how everyone is right now and another reason why I am continuing to grant people permission to chill out. Good morning, Deb. How are you, my beautiful friend? So looking forward to seeing you in a month. So today we right now have the moon coming up to in conjunct Pluto. So remember an in, in conjunct is that seesaw. You know, it's us knowing something and knowing something and making the adjustments. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I sound worse than I feel. <laughs> Although I've just had notification that um, the pub is going to close tonight because it's cold and there's something else on. So they're going to close. And I'm like, oh, good. I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, just as well also because I don't want to share my germs. You know, there's that, that, that whole thing. I don't, I don't think this is the C word. Um, you know, the, even people are funny about saying COVID now. It's a cold. A head cold we had them before 2020 we're going to have them after 2020 all right that's just my own opinion all right so the this in conjunct to pluto so letting go of emotional baggage that allows you to move into this new age of you with less things simmering just below the surface and i mean like i know deb you're moving into a new stage of you. So not that I thought of you when I wrote this, but I'm going to use you as my example. Obviously, no, no personal details. However, it is just that realization that, you know, it's the moon's in cancer. We have these, we have these emotional traits. We have these patterns of behavior. We have these experiences that are relived over and over again until we get to that point where we see that Pluto, and I'm not saying just now, but, you know, we see what we're doing and we're like, oh, we must transform. We must make adjustment. We must move towards this new thing because that old experience was either not mine, not relevant anymore, absolutely not who I am, and absolutely not where I want to be taking myself as I continue and grow with life. All right, so... Connect with your feelings today to find the story it plays out from in your past. All right. So remember cancer being ancestry, early childhood conditioning, um, you know, our early home experience, the home, um, the family, you know, um, your children. Good morning, Heather. How are you? Uh, so, yeah, we're really, we're really, is this really where you want to, to head? And is this really who you are now? And I'm just going to digress for a moment. Heather, that snake was so cute. Oh my God, I would totally love to have been in your position and have that snake crawl over my legs. I was just like, oh, that must have felt amazing. Heather is working at the Serpentarium. If anybody wants to go and, and have a look at some awesome snakes in St. Helens, that's really exciting. All right. So, all right, it's showing that I've got no one here, but I feel like I do have people here. Um, I'm going to draw a card as I continue to just chat about today. All right, so we've got that moon in conjunct Pluto. You know, we're all making emotional adjustments. And, you know, this new moon that we have tomorrow, it's all about, like, we're not, you know, cancer intentions are not about how far we want to go in life. It's about what we want our 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 vulnerable experience like when i'm thinking of cancer right now i'm thinking thinking of you sitting at home on the lounge ah! <laughs> no not cute snake cute sorry not cute steak cute snake <laughs> all right so yeah so when i'm talking about these 
cancer intentions. It's about when you're sitting at home and you are comfortable on your lounge or snuggled up in bed or with your family or, you know, thinking about your home. What do you want those experiences to look like? Do you want more of your children coming to visit? Then you need to real you then you need to make the adjustment as to why they're not doing that anyway. You know what I mean? So it's a cause and effect type of thing. Um, you know, because we all need to be responsible for, for our lives. I mean, yeah, there's obviously going to be people influencing our lives, but then we've got that react, respond experience, you know, like, where are you? How did you get there? You know, again, this is ancestry. This is early stuff. We need to actually pick apart why we're where we're at. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> so, um, so definitely, you know, like tomorrow we've got, um, okay. So, I mean, yesterday I was talking about in general, we have that sun trine Saturn. We are steadily working towards what we're doing. You know, we're, we're looking at that Saturn in Pisces, sun in cancer, Saturn in Pisces. How can I reinforce these, you know, these foundations in my mind and, you know, what story gave me these foundations in the first place you know um so mercury is trine the north node so you know that mercury in leo is excited and creative and how am i going to get there you know that that north node in leo how can i be excited and confident about moving ahead as an individual what are the stories that played out that lessened my experience as an individual potentially as well so, um, you know, now tomorrow, now Venus is still square Chiron. That is exact tomorrow at 4 p.m. All right. So, you know, um, you know, maybe we are we are replaying patterns of behavior because of the old hurts, because of the restrictions and limitations in our belief system. So so that's another one to just, you know, make those adjustments today so that tomorrow you can just know what you want more of by not focusing on what you have right now. And because if what you have right now is not what you want, then don't think about what you don't want. Think about what you do want. So, yeah. So, um, all right. Excuse me. All right. I draw a card. And um, again, it's only showing one person. But if you would like a card today, pop your name in the chat. This is at, at 8.38. So um, I've noticed a couple of times people when they're they're watching the replay saying I'd love a card but I'm only doing the live once so if you want a card just pop your name in the chat and the card I'm drawing right now is this one Ooh, okay I like that oh awesome awesome Heather and Kathy thank you for being here <laughs> all right so I do like this look at that I feel like this is you know this is this that's that investigation, you know, he, I always say, oh, and Deb, I always say, I, I use this one and I say he's in stealth mode, but I feel like what I was just saying about, you know, that um, moon in conjunct Pluto, that, that, that private investigators look, you know, Pluto being that private investigator, that, you know, he, the moon is shining on him doing that investigation into his, himself. All right, and you know the crow is all to me is always those thoughts that you know we have in our mind because they are both wise and stealthy and sneaky and magical. So I like that. I like that. I feel like this one is that that investigation into your own mind and your own feelings about what you do want. So, all right. So let's Heather, Kathy, and Deb. Yay! All right. So Heather. All right. Straight away, Heather, I'm, I'm picking up orange um, and it feels like what, what I'm seeing right now in my mind is, is one of your seascapes, but it feels like I'm, I'm seeing like a beautiful pastel orange flash. So I don't know whether, I don't even know, I'm just letting you know what I'm sort of, I'm just picking up this orange. All right.
Oh, oh my god, the fool. Oh, I love this one. I love this Heather. You know, you oh, I can feel that joy in you right this minute. And it is, it's about going back to that innocent state, finding that joy within yourself. The fool is just she has faith, she has belief, she's just trusting, you know, she's holding on to a stick there while she leans out over the cliff and, you know, that, that, that magic that is below her, it's just having that faith to believe that the universe can give you what you want, just looking within, you know, maybe this adjustment that is required today comes back to, I do want fun, joy, security, um, success like you know i want to be wrapped in the arms of comfort whether that's a person place thing experience i just feel like this is you know that that self-worth belief i love that i hope that i hope that feels nice hey jay all right um oh awesome heather so much trust that's beautiful all right kathy Kathy, just do every time, Kathy, you make me want to dance with my roller skates on. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So you got the Nine of Swords, and you know. There's, there's always that one white bird. I just love that white bird. Jupiter on the ascendant with the, my moon conjunct the Neptune, all right? I will always hold true that, you know, there is always a white bird available to you. So, I mean, I, I, feel, I actually feel like this is like, oh, I don't want to give Kathy this card. But for whatever reason you got this, you know, maybe, maybe did you have a... Did you have a, uh, a not so great sleep where you had these invasive thoughts, these negative thoughts continually coming in? And you're just like, oh my God, go away. I just need a good night's sleep. And for whatever it is, you know, just focus on that one white bird. You know, if is, is this the react? Is this the respond, don't react? Is this, um, you know, an experience that is trying to make you aware of a pattern that maybe you're not addressing because you've got this predisposition to, I don't want to deal with the hard things, maybe. All right. So, but, um, you know, you know, if those hard things are, are memories, then that's it. They're just thoughts. So maybe sitting in this, look, I've got, I've got the, I've got the pillar of light today. So look, there we go. Pillar of light says, look for the white bird. <laughs> I hope that helps, Kathy. I hope that helps. I hope those thoughts are exactly that. They're just memories and they don't hold the power over you unless they give you a shitty night's sleep and then you, the next day you're like, oh my God. But yeah, look for the white bird. Awesome, awesome, Heather. Deb. Deb. Yeah, I want to dance for you as well. You feel so light, Deb. Ooh, who got two? Who got two? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, you got the lovers and the five of pentacles. All right. So, um, I feel like... Don't think that, don't think, right, that the lovers are going to be locked behind a door for you. No, that key is exactly available to you. These things are available to you, but do you need to recover? Like, did this make you feel like this? Or does this being behind the door make you feel like this? Do you know what I mean? Like, did the lover's experience make you feel like you don't deserve it? Or are you still yearning for the lover's experience and you feel like it's locked away from you? So I, I don't, I absolutely don't think that that's the case. I think in your case, it's just going to be, you know, drawing back that bow of faith again and, and letting that arrow fly 
and just feeling that you know the wind in your hair again just feeling that wind under your wings as you fly free again and get to know how high you can soar you know coming back into yourself being your own lover I don't know I don't know I feel like yeah there's a sadness there but you know there is so much growth available to you as always you know again you know it's just going to be that period of readjustment and cancer new moon you know this is a great time for you to look at that experience and go so where are the patterns what exactly are the patterns that I can see repeated here and these are the things that I choose to not oh beautiful oh, I love you I love you oh awesome awesome all right so we've got jay it's so cold in lonnie that they've got no running water oh we had our fire going all night and it's the continual don't let the pipes freeze so all right oh deb i love you well let's chat later i know you're a busy lady oh okay jay Let's have a look, Jay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna share it. Alright, so I have a little miss, you know, the little little characters, little miss. And uh, I will. And um the one that was coming up for you, um, Jay, is Little Miss Micromanage. And that's not a that's not a slur. <laughs> That is a observation that maybe, you know, maybe you can just believe that it's going to come your way or, you know, what's the micromanage, what's that term that they want you to know and be aware of maybe, okay? All right, so the card that Jay gets. Oh, oh, okay, so... All right. Okay. You know what? There was two cards there, and I picked one, and I feel like um, I feel like you need the two as well. So, in regards to the micromanage situation, are you are you racing too fast towards the 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 dream, the outcome? Are you missing any of the of the beautiful experiences that come along the way? Those satisfying experiences that come because you stopped, because you've made the detour, because you allow the cards to fall where they will. So, um, so yeah, so stop. Yeah, I know you're Virgo Moon. So stop trying to micromanage. Stop trying to race too fast headlong. That bike is always going to be there. That You are on the path. That is going to be a continuing journey. So stop and allow the universe to give you that love, those gifts, that that um, you know that that state of being that knows that you are precious, that you deserve flowers, that you deserve to have. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh my God! They just said to me. All right, they just said. That deserves big fluffy oodies given to you as gifts. <laughs> I have no idea why, Jay. But there you go. They said that you deserve big fluffy oodies as gifts. So, so there you go. That's that's me today. Thank you guys for joining me. So tomorrow we have um, at 8.55. So when we are talking tomorrow, maybe we can do some new moon intentions because we're going to be live when the new moon is on all right so bring your diaries tomorrow or you know in this 24 hour period oh there we go that's that's your jam jay <laughs> udi lady all right so yeah bring your diaries tomorrow in this 24 hour period you know again we're not thinking about we're not thinking about out there we're thinking about our immediate environment and only us, all right? Our inner child, our, our comfort, our home base, our sense of security. I am, I am, Jay. I don't have the body aches like yesterday, but I have a little bit of snot. <laughs> but I'm feeling so much better than yesterday. So, yeah, thank you so much. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow.